guys, hope you're well. So, um, what I'm trying to do um, is listen to your needs. Um, so this this uh, YouTube channel is is created via what I share is in my practice. Um, so I'm trying to show you stretches I currently use, or I listen to things that people are saying they might have issues with or concerns, and share bits and pieces. I was originally an international runner and then I was also a state and um, national water polo player and swimmer. And then after having my daughter six years ago, I needed to find a sport where I was at home because I was caring for her. And so I kind of led me to body weight and functional training with a kettlebell or um, weights at home as well as yoga, which you see me do. But in the interim of all this process, I found that you know, with yoga, you had to open your body, but I found that there were certain things in yoga that you couldn't just hold a pose to open your body. You had to do release mechanisms as well, or you would get lower back injuries or sore shoulders or sore elbows that would come from tight shoulders and so on and so forth. So I found that not only do I just do yoga, I do all encompassing. So I do therapy work for myself at home with um, balls like this and and bands and then I do some pole dancing because it incorporates my core for when I do inversion work. So I found the best type of fitness is cross training, not only for my body but for my mind and also for repetitive movement can be very damaging on the joints. So if you do a little bit of everything, it's much more likely that your body is going to be more sound rather than repeating the impact way, for example, swimmers get shoulder injuries or cricket players or um, hamstrings injuries are very common in football players because of the repetitive use and cycling. Often cyclists and uh, runners have very strong qu quads but not very strong hamstrings. So we must have a look at it from a bigger picture. I mean, even when I ran, for example, I ran about 80 kilometers a week, I would um, be doing weight work in the gym and um, we'll be doing running in the water. I would be doing circuit body weight work. It wasn't just straight running because the body needs to be functionally fit and do flexibility and strength and the specific movement you're training towards. So the same as yoga, if you're working towards splits, it's actually broken down into many different exercises like releasing nerves and lengthening hamstrings but calves and Achilles and, and, and hip flexors to come to the splits. You don't just stretch the splits. So here's an exercise for you to release into the glute activation area. It'll help with any runner, cyclist, basketball player, golfer, any person that sits all day, anyone that has lower back issues, sciatic issues. This will be fantastic for you. So this um, is again the peanut. It's two balls combined in a little bag. You can buy two balls combined. They're joined together and it has a little, um, a little de deviation like a peanut in the middle. First um, activation point will be that you will put the ball here like this. Make sure you have that right. It takes a while sometimes to lie onto it, to get it to stabilize. Okay, once you have that, you have one foot up, one foot straight, and from here, you should feel quite an intensity, particularly if it's the first time doing it. Don't be overwhelmed. You're gonna bring your leg up here like this, and back. Up here like this, and back. And you're going to do 15 repeti repetitions on each side. And this is going to really release into the glute area, also where sciatic issues can occur, nerve, nerve places can occur, and any tension in your lower back. From there, once you've done 15 repetitions on both sides, so instead of having it this way along your hip, you're going to have it this way, in the same position along here, lying on your side, and now you're going to do clamshells. So you're going to bring both legs up into this position, just like you would a clamshell when you're doing um, your weight leg work like this. But this time it's the lower leg that comes up and it comes down, comes up and it comes down. You're going to do 15 repetitions on each side. So this um, will help you to release any of the tension in that hip area. And it will make even things like if you're a yogi working into back bends or king pigeon, um, cobra poses, that will be a lot more sound and a lot less pressure on your lower back when you release into this area. 
So remember that it's all encompassing in your practice. It's not just a one size fits all. I hope you enjoy. Subscribe and um, if you have any questions, let me know. If you're looking for more freedom in um, flowing in my Patreon account, if you're looking to learn yoga and have fun in a community, then Instagram is also an amazing place where I learned how to um, join and find friends and um, had a, I have a lot of fun on there, also hosting some challenges. All the links are below of the details and I hope you enjoy and wish you an amazing day. Namaste.